Godzilla, and today I got a quick little video about how to hook up a run cam thumb onto a Tiny Hawk Freestyle 2. Um, I know most people, if you're in this hobby for a while, you're like, oh, you idiot, it's easy. But, you know, when you're a noob and you don't really know how to solder well, it's, it's a little hard, and you want to make sure that you're soldering it onto the right parts and stuff like that, so I, um... It was hard to find exactly online, but I found one picture somebody showed. I have an extra little uh, flight controller. This is actually from one of the Tiny Hawk 2 whoops, but it's the same thing. And um, I'm going to just zoom in close. I'm going to show on the flight controller exactly where I uh, I soldered my two little wires together. And got my run cam thumb working. It has no battery of its own, so it has to be powered from the drone itself. And it's got a quick little flight inside the house I took because the weather's been kind of nasty outside and I didn't want to wait. So, <laughs> alright, I hope everyone enjoys this video and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Okay, so if you take a closer look at the top of your flight controller right next to where you plug in the USB, I think it might actually be the VTX, but... We have these two little pin things that come up and if you look you can see it says 5 volt on the one and G for ground on the other. So when you get your run cam thumb you'll have this little wire that will have a two pin connector on it and you take the red one and you solder it to the 5 volt pin here and you take the black one you solder it to the ground pin here. And when you plug it in, when you plug in your regular battery for your drone, it will automatically turn on the run cam and then just follow the rest of the instructions that came with it and it will tell you how to use it. Worked good for me. I hope it works for you. Thanks for watching.